gonna help me make the video? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, let's make the video. All right, look at him. All right, tell him, say, hey, everybody, welcome back. <laughs> Today we're gonna lick Dad in the face. And then we're gonna chew up a magazine. And after we chew up a magazine, then we're probably gonna pull some wood out and chew it up too. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Well, guys, this video is gonna be about our digital readout set that we installed several months ago and do a little review on it and I want to share with you a problem that I discovered with this unit, okay? If you remember in the very last video where we worked on the x-axis removing as much of the backlash as possible, initially when I started recording I was going to use the digital readout here to measure you know, the movement of the table compared to the dial on the control knob to see how much backlash we had. Well I had to switch to a dial indicator right here to do that instead of the uh, digital readout. And what was happening was I was turning the knob very slowly, okay, because I wanted to see the moment that this started reading was going to tell me when I needed to zero my dial and turn back and measure my backlash. And I noticed I kept turning very slowly and turning, and slowly turning, and this was never changing. It was staying on zero. So what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to take this dial indicator here and I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna put this thing directly on the sensor itself, okay? Not on the table, <clears throat> but on the sensor itself. All right, so after we get it set up back there and get it mounted, we're gonna turn up, get the camera on the digital readout here and get another camera on the dial indicator and let's compare and see the difference between the two when I turn the knob very slowly in one direction and then reverse it and very slowly in the other direction. And let's do a comparison, okay? As you can see there, that there is absolutely nothing wrong with the digital readout, especially there at the moving sensor. We put that dial indicator directly on the sensor and we moved the table at a very slow rate and it measured perfectly, all right, perfectly. So digital readout is not the problem, okay? So what is the problem? Well, I'm gonna take two dial indicators and put one on the front of the table where the lead screw is and another one on the back of the table where the uh, sensor, the moving sensor is mounted or close by. And let's see if the problem is not with the table itself that it's shifting, okay? So let's take a measurement there and see what we've got. Well, it's pretty obvious from the results there that the front of the table with the lead screw is moving about four thousandths before the back of the table ever even thinks about moving. So that means we need to adjust the gibs on the back of the table. And that's where I messed up to begin with. I should have tightened up those gibs good and made sure they were snug before ever even setting the backlash on it. All right, so let's do that next. Let's, uh, let's get some tools and get back here and adjust that gib and get it up nice and tight on the back so there's no play in this thing and go from there. All right, well, we got some tools. We're back here, we adjust that gib up good and tight. We're gonna take another reading here and everything is looking good, man. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna get a uh, both dial indicator set up again and we're gonna measure and see what we got, okay? All right, so what we gotta do now is I'm gonna get the camera moved over here and we're gonna, you know, I can't record all three at one time, but I'm gonna show you this, this uh, dial indicator, that dial indicator, and also the digital readout. And what we're shooting for is I wanna move the table 20 thousandths and all three say 20, okay? That'll tell us that we got it straightened out. And what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna turn this dial. I'm gonna look at this one here and I wanna see it move 20 thousandths. All right, there we go. I'm gonna move it 20 thousandths.
Man, that is a big improvement. Those things are reading perfectly now, and that's exactly what we needed. So lesson learned, you want to make sure that you adjust that give all the way up, good and snug, before you try to, you know, uh, set your backlash or uh, measure and determine how accurate your DRO is. You know, that give being loose affected everything. All right, well, we got that thing done, and what initially we thought was a problem with the digital readout was not. It was a problem with the machine being out of adjustment, okay? And that was my fault, okay? It wasn't Smithy's fault. It wasn't nobody's fault but mine. I should have adjusted those gibs sooner, okay? So you need to learn from my mistake there, okay? Make sure that you adjust your gibs before you make any attempt to adjust backlash, okay? Or any attempt to true up your digital readout or whatever or test it. Uh, big improvement, and it's just a lesson learned. I want to share that with all of you. Make sure you adjust those gibs and then test your machine, okay? Or then work on taking your backlash out. Well, hey guys, I appreciate you watching this video, and I hope you come back for the next one. Remember, we were working on taking the hey, hey, hey there. You want me to get it? All right, come on, go get it. All right, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, I just can't say it right today, and get the camera set up on this and on the digital readout. <laughs> Hush. All right, so we got that. <laughs> Dirty Persian shark, a bank flat, sport and sell a bucket of Martin, Persian Luma, Burton, Dirty, Wild Fresh, Lock, Bag and Slaughter.